Hey all, hope you all are doing well. Myself, Dr. Amit Maheshwari. In previous video, we have seen that in eukaryotes, at the time of DNA replication, there is a one and replication problem occurs, and that and replication problem is solved by the synthesis of one special structure at the end of the each chromosome, which is called as a telomeres, and it is synthesized by one specialized polymerase enzyme, which is called as a telomerase. In today's video, we will discuss telomeres and telomerase in detail along with the various multiple choice question asked from this particular topic. It is one of the very important topic for the NEAT PG. So, and replication problem of eukaryotes. So, as we all know that DNA molecules in eukaryotes chromosomes are linear, which means they have two ends in contrast to eukaryotes chromosome, which are circular and they don't have any ends. So free ends of the linear chromosomes are not readily replicated by cellular DNA polymerases and the phi prime end of each new strand will be generally short as compared to that of phi prime end of the template strand. This is the picture showing the linear uh, DNA which is present in the chromosome of the eukaryotes. As you can see there is a presence of two ends which is not present in the prokaryotes DNA as it is circular one. So each time cell replicates its genome in order to divide, its chromosomes become shorter. And this particular problem is resolved by the synthesis of spatial structure at the end of the chromosome, which is called as a telomeres. Telomeres is the term derived from the Greek word, which Greek word, in the Greek word, telo means ends, as it is located at the end of the chromosomes. And these telomeres are synthesized by one specialized polymerase, which carries its own RNA template, which is known as a telomerase, and it is also having reverse transcriptase activity, means it is also called as a RNA dependent DNA polymerase enzyme as it can synthesize DNA from the RNA template. So, this is the picture showing the end replication problem which occurs in the eukaryotes. So, as DNA polymerase cannot synthesize the extreme phi prime end of the new strand because polymerase acts only in the phi prime to 3 prime direction. So the newly synthesized strands would have an incomplete phi prime end after the removal of RNA primer. So once RNA primer is removed, there will be the incomplete ends will be present in the phi prime, the phi prime end in the newly synthesized strand. And this newly synthesized strand will be shorter as compared to that of template strand. So this is the particular end replication problem occurs in the eukaryotic DNA at the time of replication. As there is a removal of RNA primer, so there is a generation of gap at the phi prime end. So, a, a strand will be incomplete. So, this end replication problem is resolved by the synthesis of one spatial structure which is called as a telomeres. So, ends of chromosome contain structures called as a telomeres. And the telomeres consist of hundreds of tandem repeats of six nucleotide G rich sequence. It contains hundreds of tandem repeats of six nucleotide G rich sequence, and the human telomeres contain phi prime, PTA, triple G, three prime. So this is the six nucleotide G rich sequence which is present in the human telomeres. And they have two particular function. First particular function is they prevent the fusing of chromosome with each other and the second important function is they resolve the end replication problem which occurs in the eukaryotes. So these are the two important function of the telomeres. They protect the chromosomes from fusing with each other and they solve the end replication problem. And they are essential for, for the proper maintenance of the chromosome and play a major role in aging as well as in the cancer. So this is regarding the telomeres. The important thing is they are present in the end of the chromosome. They contain hundreds of tandem repeats of 6 nucleotide G rich sequence. In the human telomeres, this G rich sequence is 5 prime, PTA, triple G, 3 prime. 
and they have two important functions. This is the picture showing the telomeres which is present at the end of the chromosome and they contain hundreds of tandem repeats of six nucleotide sequences which is triple G A double T which is present in the telomeres. Now telomerase which is also called as a telomer terminal transferase the specialized polymerase enzyme responsible for the synthesis of telomer. The enzyme which prevents the shortening of DNA it has an intrinsic RNA primer or RNA template which is responsible for the synthesis of DNA and it has a reverse transcriptase activity means it is called as a RNA dependent DNA polymerase enzyme. It can synthesize DNA from the RNA template and it is present in the germline stem cells and most cancer cells but it is absent in the somatic cells. So this thing is very very important. It is absent in the most of the somatic cells. So this is the picture showing the mechanism of a telomerase enzyme which leads to the synthesis of telomere. So as we have discussed that telomere contain hundreds of uh, uh, tandem repeats of six nucleotide sequences. So the, there is a presence of this tandem repeats in the telomeres. Now telomerase will add new repeats at the T prime end. Fine, at the 3 prime end, telomerase will add new repeats. And as we have already discussed, that this telomerase also contain RNA template. So this uh, telomerase will provide RNA template at the 5 prime end. And this RNA template will serve as a primer for the DNA polymerase enzyme. So, DNA polymerase enzyme will consider this RNA template as a primer and they will synthesize new DNA at the 5 prime end. So this will result in the synthesis of DNA at the 5 prime end and once DNA is synthesized RNA primer will be removed. So there will be the removal of RNA primer. So, This is the picture showing the mechanism of telomerase. So, again the gap which was uh, generated by the removal of RNA primer it is it is filled by the DNA synthesis by DNA polymerase enzyme that is telomerase enzyme. Now clinical significance of telomerase. Absence of telomerase leads to premature aging. In cancer cells there is an increased telomerase activity. Telomerase shortening is associated with the aging as well as the malignancy that is cancer. And telomerase has become an attractive target for the cancer chemotherapy as well as for the various drug development. So these this are the clinical significance of telomerase. One such important thing is telomerase uh, shortening is associated with the aging and malignancy and absence of telomerase leads to the premature aging. Now we will see various multiple choice question. The first question which was asked in All India 2006. All of the following cell types contain the enzyme telomerase which protects the length of telomerase at the end of the chromosomes except germinal, somatic, hemopoietic and tumor. So as we have already discussed that telomerase enzyme is not present in the somatic cells. So the answer is B, somatic. Third question which was asked in a COPG -E 2011. Action of telomerase is DNA repair longevity of cell, breakdown of telomere and none. So the correct answer is longevity of cell. Third question which was asked in the PGI December 2003. True about telomerase or telomere is are they are present at the end of the eukary eukaryotic chromosomes. Increased telomerase activity favors the cancer cell. DNA dependent RNA polymerase and DNA polymerase. So as we have already discussed it is RNA dependent DNA polymerase. It has a reverse transcriptase activity. So the correct answer is A and B they are present at the end of the eukaryotic chromosomes and increased telomerase activity favors the cancer cells. Third question which was asked in AIMS November 2001. Which enzymatic mutation is responsible for immortality of cancer cell? And the options are DNA reverse transcriptase, RNA polymerase, telomerase and DNA polymerase. 
So the correct answer is enzyme uh, mutation responsible for the immortality of cancer cells is telomerase. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.